Our next speaker likes uh, to code. He likes to read also, to advocate about uh, open source. He likes to play some sports. He also likes movies. Oh, and games. This is um, Anurag uh, Bandari, and he will talk about uh, social and real-time webs uh, using uh, Meteor. Let's applause him. Thank you. Okay, so while Meteor installs, I, I guess I just start. Okay, um, so hello and welcome to this Meteor session. I'm here not to give a full detailed um, a view on Meteor. So my explanation will hover around a very small introduction on how you can quickly develop secure web applications, primarily social real-time web applications using Meteor. So Meteor is a very recent framework and um, just like all other JavaScript frameworks, it is very secure and very fast to build um, modern looking web applications. So what is a real-time application? So basically, a real-time application is uh, nothing but what you have been using since all these years. You have been using Google Chat, you have been using Google Docs, you have been using tools such as Etherpad. So all these tools that connect you with the other users in a collaborative manner and uh, without any delays or latency are termed as real-time applications. So as uh, complicated as it may sound, creating real-time applications using Meteor is not um, very difficult now. So piece of cake is a phrase that I can use. What is Meteor? So Meteor is a very recent framework, as I told you. It, is, it has not graduated to its first stable release, but uh, its preview release is stable enough to help you build enterprise class uh, good applications. So it is an open source platform building, uh, for building top quality web apps in a fraction of the time, whether you are an expert developer or just getting started. Meteor relies on seven principles. So data on the wire, so again, I'll not be delving into um, many details over here, just quick overview. So data on the wire, which means that you don't need to, so uh, if I take example of JSP or ASP or PHP, you communicate to the client that is a browser by sending the entire UI plus the logic. So what that means is you transfer HTML, CSS and JavaScript content over the wire. In this case, you don't need to do that. All you need to transfer is the data. So the UI and the JavaScript, everything is set up at the very go when a Meteor application loads in your browser. One language, JavaScript. Be it server-side content, be it client-side content, JavaScript is the only language that you need. Database everywhere. So, Meteor has a focus on data and uh, you know it is not surprising that apart from maintaining a server copy of the database it also maintains a client copy of the database. So I'll come to the um, behind the scenes later so just know that latency compensation so you, we are all used to using uh, modern social tools like Twitter and Facebook. Now, the most important thing about these tools is the speed. And uh, if the speed is not there, we will probably not come back to these sites. So how do these sites achieve such great speeds? Latency compensation is the term. So uh, Meteor really simplifies latency compensation. What this really means is that whatever content you post or whatever content you get 
from a server is immediately shown in your UI and later posted to the database or uh, fetched from the database. So this helps in achieving real-time reactivity. So which brings me to the next point, full stack reactivity, which means uh, whenever your application is interacting with a database, for example, if you have a list of to-do items, whatever you enter in the UI, um, so web developers will know this, the Ajax call that you make, you don't have to wait for the success function to execute. Uh, all, just, all the changes will automatically and immediately reflect in your UI and um, that is called latency compensation and that also uh, happens to be one of the aspects of reactivity and uh, of course reactivity also means that you can have certain data variables that will automatically refresh if any of the data changes. So for example if you have a data variable name and um, the name stored in the database somehow changes. Um, it will be automatically reflected in the UI without you ever refreshing the page. Embrace the ecosystem. So instead of in reinventing the wheel, what Meteor did was uh, it basically used certain existing open source technologies. So I'll come to it uh, in the next slide, but um, it is really uh, just embracing the ecosystem and not really developing everything on its own. Although uh, Meteor is a great piece of code and uh, a great platform, it is really based on Node.js and MongoDB. Simplicity equals productivity. So. Um, if you go to the um, Meteor API, you will notice that everything is very, very simple, straightforward, and documentation, the API documentation page is the, really the only thing that you will ever need to learn Meteor. So what is behind the scenes? What, is, what does um, a Meteor, what powers Meteor? So I told you Node.js, uh, this is uh, again a very recent phenomenon and uh, Node.js really uh, takes JavaScript to the server side. So this is what, uh, Meteor, how Meteor is able to achieve server side JavaScripting. So uh, it is based on V8 engine that was developed by Google, of course. MongoDB is a very popular NoSQL database and uh, MongoDB, uh, the syntax is not very familiar uh, to what SQL is like. It is very familiar to JSON and um, so they really call it BSON. Handlebars is again uh, uh, the templating engine that uh, Meteor uses and uh, the handlebars syntax is what provides reactivity to your data. So again reactivity means whatever changes in the database is automatically reflected in the UI. What uh, changes in the UI is automatically taken back to the database. So Meteor is secure. So before uh, I proceed further, so even though Meteor is not a very stable, uh, at a very stable stage right now. 1.0 release is not out, but Meteor is very secure and um, they have recently uh, done huge modifications. They have, um, they have introduced entire frameworks to make sure that every Meteor application is very stable. Allow deny rules, make sure that, uh, uh, you know, your client side code gets logged in. So uh, an end user, a hacker, a potential hacker cannot actually um, open the console of Firebug or uh, the integrated console in Chrome and start uh, executing certain functions. MongoDB injections and checks are already built in. Browser policies are enforced, so you can actually uh, leverage the cross-browser uh, cross domain, uh, cross-domain policy um, to make sure that people are not able to embed your applications in iframes and other such things. So this is a wonderful slide, uh, slideshow actually, which uh, uh, elaborates on these uh, principles, the security principles of Meteor. Please do check it out. Uh, installation is very simple, just this command is all what you need and um, updating is again very simple because this was made uh, with Linux in mind and Macintosh. So Meteor update is the only command that you will ever need to update it after you have installed. Creating a new application is very straightforward, three commands. Meteor create my app. So my app is the name of your application. Of course, you wouldn't want uh, such names afterwards. But um, when you create an application, 
um, Meteor automatically inserts certain code and um, that code of course you can um, uh, change you can modify but uh, it is a very good starting point so you even don't need to go to the documentation to learn it uh, you can right now install meteor execute these th three commands and get started with the development it is so easy so this is how a meteor application looks like so it is an mvvm architecture so there is a client folder there is a public folder and then there is a server folder so whatever content uh, comes under client is always executed on the client side whatever um, content similarly comes under server is executed on the server side so client is the browser server is the meteor server or the node.js server running on the actual server so um, of course uh, all this is js code and uh, the client will automatically uh, indigenously handle the js code but the server will have to convert the js code into native executables so that they can be um, rendered as code bytes and um, displayed as such uh, whatever comes into the public folder is never executed either on the client or the server so things like uh, resources your images your videos etc come under the public folder so um, this model.js is one thing that is outside of any of these folders so whatever content is put under um, a document that lies in the root of the application that code is executed on both the client and the server and of course there are certain variables and conditions available in the api uh, through which you can make sure that uh, you know you are dealing with both the client and the server in a very organized manner so uh, you can put a condition if meteor dot is client execute this code if meteor dot is server execute this code so generally um, files in the root are the starting point of your application so that is why these are very much needed meteor as i said um, um, embraces, embraces the ecosystem how does it do that number one it is powered by many open source platforms number two it um, helps you uh, it, it, it helped, <coughs> excuse me it helps you build applications um, using existing frameworks very easily bootstrap coffee script d3 jquery less underscore every web developer today is aware of these platforms and um, you know uh, it's just a matter of meteor add package name to add the support of one of these platforms into your application so i was talking about handlebars this is what a normal handlebar template looks like so we have a special tag called template and so this will come in your html part so um, it has a name hello and uh, it has two reactive variables first and last you can always bind these reactive variables with your javascript code and uh, of course you can have a function that will fetch data from the database and bind the data to first and last and accessing these variables is very easy so in your javascript file uh, you just do template dot hello dot first is equal to whatever you want to assign and um, because these come under so a template by default is reactive so whatever change uh, happens to first either in the ui front or, or on the database front will automatically uh, reflected in the either other case so uh, let's see it live enough of ch chatting so i'll just open terminal it is installed uh, let's verify meteor yes okay so um, let's explore one of the examples of meteor so which uh, come comes by default installed so or i can just
Okay. I'm really sorry. It seems that uh, Meteor doesn't really uh, nowadays come with their examples, live examples. It was in my laptop. Unfortunately, my laptop isn't compatible with these. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just add it. So I'll just create one new uh, Meteor application. I think it's just Meteor uh, Dasher's example or something with create. But if you go, if you go to docs and Meteor, comments, Um, or perhaps I'll just create a um, sample application. Yes, um, I'll just I'll just use Meteor. Meteor create my application, and um, it has created our application. Let's verify ls. So you can see that a new folder has been created. I'll just cd into it, my application, and let's run it. So Meteor, and voila. So it will start, automatically start its built-in web browser, uh, web server. And of course, this is node.js based. But this web, uh, this web server is not production web server. Um, you are recommended to always use node.js uh, when actually deploying on the server. So I'll return to, okay, I'll just take two minutes more. So my application is running. This is how the code looks like. And uh, here is how I can view it in the browser. So this is my application. And um, if I go to the console, um, there is, so actually, uh, clicking on this button actually outputs to the console. So uh, this button itself is very reactive and it is based on um, this template. Yeah. So hello is a template and greeting is a reactive variable. Okay. And uh, let me just finish my conversation. So basically, deployment is also very easy. You have two commands, Meteor deploy, which helps you deploy it on the Meteor server itself. So if you want, uh, if you are okay with having a subdomain on the Meteor website, this is what you get. And uh, you can even bundle a web application and deploy it on your own server that has production quality Node.js and MongoDB installed. That's the only thing that you need. Does someone have a quick question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, does it, is it possible to use FPF to uh, install a Yes, new yes, new absolutely. Okay. Uh, is it possible to install with NPM? So NPM is uh, very much integrated into Node.js, and that is what I also always use. Uh, you can't install Meteor itself via NPM, yeah. but Meteor, right? On the server. Uh, Meteorite is another thing that you can use, but uh, of course, when Meteorite wasn't there, I used to use NPM on the production server, that is. Um, is it possible to imagine an application where the, the user will have data in the local storage that the server doesn't know? Like Sorry? to have decentralized application with the, the, the client having, uh, using the, the, the database in the, ser the, the client mm -hmm. without uh, uploading them to the server? Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Um, sorry, I didn't get your question. Like to, to let the client uh, manage uh, data uh -huh. in the browser uh, with your application, but uh -huh. without the application re-centralizing the data. Um, the control of the database, the local database, is always coupled with the server database. So you cannot just uh, um, create a database on your own and a client database, it will automatically be created by your application. And uh, it will always be synced with the server database. There is nothing that you can do with it. So you cannot manipulate as just a client database and not the server database. The synchronization will always happen. Thank you for your talk. Okay. Thank you. And as a reward, here a box of chocolates. Oh, thank you.